According to her 911 call, she then went back in um, a little later and she was gone. So she drove around for two hours, two and a half hours, looking for her and then decided to call 911. And you've been looking for it for the past hour? Yes, I've looked everywhere. She ran out of gas and there was a woman who gave her daughters a gas can full of gas and they took the gas can back to her and they apparently went home. And then that's when she called 911. Have you been outside checking the area? Yes, I drove up all the streets around here. Look, you think maybe she went outside or something. West and West Virginia is this beautiful little small town nestled right in the middle of the mountains. Driving in the West in the first time, it's just such a quiet little peaceful town. It's not really somewhere you would expect something this tragic to take place. We're working the case of Aaliyah Lunsford. She went missing back September 24, 2011. Right behind us, the little town that she lived on over on Denison Street. They've never recovered the little girl's body. With any of the cases my brothers and I work on, it's best for us to find out as much as we can about the victims. And that way, hopefully we'll have that stronger connection when we're running our sessions. Right now, we just don't know how to deal with it. I mean, we want to find Aaliyah to give her the proper burial. When police arrived to the Lunsford home, they noticed that there were no signs of forced entry, and it was highly unlikely that Aaliyah would have gotten out of bed and left the house on her own. She never leaves the house unless an adult is with her. We love her. We miss her. We want her home. The more people we can get to help, Better of if you listen to the 911 tape, she does not give a specific time that she checked on her daughter. The 911 operator does, and she rolls with that. Okay, you saw her this morning around 6:30. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him? <laughs> when was the last time? That was the last time you saw her. Was it 6:30 this morning? Yes. Yeah. She had told the 911 operator that. She had put Aaliyah to bed early because she wasn't feeling too good. And then when she checked on her about 6 or 6.30, um, she gave her some more medicine. And then she put her back to bed. And then a few hours later when she got back up, she noticed that she was gone. The police brought in divers who searched the river directly behind the Bendel home because the canine dogs had led the down to the river where they had found no footprints. And that's what made them think that she had gotten up and walked out of the house. They searched all areas around that house and they didn't find anything. From what I understand, they just searched around where the house um, and then down by the old HK Cassian building Nothing had come from Lena, nothing had come from Ralph, nothing had come from any of the family. You know, bring my baby home, something, but nothing. It just really hurts to think that Lena had anything to do with this. And in my honest opinion, Lena is not my sister if she could do anything like this to a child. And I know that's wrong to say, but that's just how I feel deep down. When the search went on in Vegas, came out with a gun. He tore up Aaliyah's flyers in front of the search crew. 
tore them up and then stood there and laughed. Dared anyone to search his property. Dared them. Nothing was done. Three-year-old Aaliyah Lunsford went missing from her Bendale home Saturday morning. Folks from across the country have gathered in Lewis County over the past few weeks to search for missing three-year-old Aaliyah Lunsford. My brothers and I have found over the years the closest we can get to where a crime was committed or something tragic took place, the stronger the connection is with the spirits. We knew that Aaliyah's last whereabouts were at her home in Bendel. My brothers and I thought that that would probably be the best place to start. We thought it would be best to hit as many locations as possible, and hopefully we would connect with an area that gave us positive signs as far as what happened to Aaliyah or where her body may possibly be. If any spirits that may know where Aaliyah Lunsford is or what happened to her, can you say yes or no? We believe in order to communicate back and forth with the spirits, you need to provide them a way to communicate back and forth with you. And my brothers and I have found over the years the best way to achieve the communication back and forth is by using the spirit box. The spirit box my brothers and I used was developed for us by a researcher over in the UK, and it has been extremely useful when communicating back and forth with spirits. Can you tell us who hurt Aaliyah Lonsford? I was more worried about them, especially when every time they closed their eyes, they started screaming and crying and saying no. Lena was quite pregnant, quite pregnant, you know, with twins. I don't think she did that herself. I don't think she disposed of her herself. Did Lena Lunsford hurt her daughter, yes or no? Can you tell us which direction to go? Often when you're running the spirit box session, it gives you a glimpse into what possibly took place. So my brothers and I are always looking for clear and direct responses. We're trying to find this little girl right here. Do you know where her body is, yes or no? What mobile home? Do you know where she's at? I keep getting a voice that keeps coming across. Are we close, yes or no? Who got rid of Aaliyah's body? Was it or I see like branches and stuff on top. So I don't feel like she really like put her in it. I feel like she more like hit her body. Are we close, yes or no? Try closer down to the house. And I don't think my mom would have came and got her because she didn't woke me up and stuff. She'd be so okay, have you called your mother? No, I need to do that. Let's see if she has her. Do you have a phone number for her? Yes. Mom had temporary custody of the kids, and eventually Lena gained weekend rights to come home with the kids. But once she was released, that's when we noticed a big change in the kids, especially Aaliyah. It was almost like Aaliyah didn't want to go, and she even cried no. Her mother raised her. She had only had Aaliyah for four months. 
four months and she's dead? Elias, disappearance definitely did take a big toll on my mom's health. My mom went to her grave not knowing the truth. Can you tell me how Aaliyah was hurt? Honestly, I can't get over the feeling that they're involved somehow. I just keep hearing mommy, and I don't know if it's I'm calling out to mommy or, you know, mommy did this kind of thing. You don't know of any place that she would have went there in the community? Is there a friend's house next by or somebody that she plays with? No! <laughs> They said she had flu-like symptoms. Now, if you have any kind of a medical, you know, background or medical knowledge, everything that she was exhibiting is signs of a concussion. If she was hit that hard on the head, she's gonna be vomiting. It was almost like Aaliyah didn't want to go, and she even cried, no, I want to stay here with Mama. We all know that Lena will never give it up as to where she's really at. I don't think she had the flu. I, I think it was because she was hit so hard. She had told the police that Aaliyah wasn't feeling too good, which she wasn't that Friday, the last time that my mom and I had seen her, which was about a week before she came up missing. This back here is where they would have checked the river. Is this go to that top of the hill by the school where he was seen walking? And I think that area that she pointed out in the map, which I can show you guys when we get over there, is this area. There's a river and then there's like rocks and stuff over there. And that page in her map, she's got a tower, a junkyard, rocks, and a river. Yeah, this right here, she's showing like a cell phone tower, a dumping area. And to me, that looked like the road coming off the dam. And there's that little bridge by the dam. And you go over that little bridge, and this is the parking area over here, but that's the drive out. And then she's talking about a deep side. Anyways, you, you drive back this other lane on the left side of the river. Mm -hmm. And that's real steep. And then you come back here, and there's a fence back here. There's a parking area. It would be this one that comes back up in here along the river. And see, we was already back here. Right. We's back here on this side. Coming from there, there is a slope up the hill. And then there is the cemetery. Day two of the Leah Lunsford case. We're here getting a nice healthy breakfast at the Days Inn. Rocky's eating yogurt. Healthy choice. Shane went with a bagel. And I went with toast. John's eating like six waffles, two bagels, four yogurts, and now he's getting toast. And he said that there's other children in the residence? Yes. Is she tall enough to where she would be able to reach the door handle? Yes, she is. Okay. This right here is the road that stuck out to me. In the days following Aaliyah's disappearance, a witness had came forward and said that she may have possibly seen Ralph walking out towards Middle Run. Okay, that yellow house right there, she spotted him walking in this area. During one of the searches, there was a lady that said that she saw Ralph walking late night, middle of the night, um, over on Middle Run. Middle Run dead ends at um, the old schoolhouse and Sunshine Road comes through there. Um, he was walking just before the old school and Sunshine Road in the middle of the night with a hood on. So to my knowledge, the dogs were never taken over in that area. But she was quite adamant that it was Ralph and he was 
walking in the middle of the night very suspiciously. I mean, it was like literally like they just sat her down, picked her up, sat her down, picked her up. Like they would smell her here, but not here. Or they would smell her over here, but not over there. The rumors were flying that she was being moved. The, the theory was that they, they were moving her. I catch myself looking at her all the time. I'm just looking back and remembering her smile. <laughs> at the time of Aaliyah's disappearance, Ralph had worked for the state park just south of Bendel. So we thought that would be a good area to check out too, just in case Ralph had anything to do with Aaliyah's disappearance. Aaliyah, who hurt you? Take your body somewhere. I'm really so sorry that you had to go through this. There's somebody that's on here talking to us that loves Aaliyah. Can you please help us? We know Aaliyah was a shy girl and she may not talk to us. Can you tell me if her Aaliyah? All I want is a yes or no. Is it in a box? because she was always telling us how how much she loved us and and she was constantly giving us hugs and kisses and I just wish I could do that to her. Aaliyah, who hurt you? Was it mommy or daddy? It's like there's a little girl's voice that keeps coming through, but it's so faint. Are we closer now? Yes or no? On Carter. Carter? Do you tell us where they took Aaliyah's body to? Carter. Did bring Aaliyah's body down here? Can you give us a landmark? Where is her body near? You keep saying Carter. Yeah. Where is Carter? Where is Carter? So that's what I was thinking because the cell phone tower and then there's the junkyard there's be a river and she, river. she would be on the left side but it's a river with deep sides I see her going down the riverbank I feel like she's like kind of near the water but not you know in the water from what she was picking up on she feels that Aaliyah's body is in this area and there just so happens to be right next to the town Aaliyah lived in, there's a cell phone tower and then there's a junkyard right next to it. So what I'm thinking is if we go past that, down by the river, and just see if maybe we can get a stronger connection. What was she wearing whenever you put her back in bed? She had a pair of purple to wear PJs. Aaliyah's favorite color is purple. And she loved Dora the Explorer. As a matter of fact, the little Dora Explorer pants that she was wearing 
we got her for Christmas. And that's what they said she was wearing when she went missing. I'm sorry. <laughs> that makes it harder when it's something. Yeah. There's the cell tower, and then there's a junkyard just to the left of the cell tower. I mean, you don't you think that would fit that? Do you know how tall she is? I'm guessing around three feet. I'm, I'm not for sure right now. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> All this may not, may just lead you kind of over there. Into the area. But she may not have seen the road across the river. And then if you, if you come on down the road, then you come up in here, then you can circle around that building. It big goes lake. all the way back past yeah. where we were at. Okay. It runs along but the gravel road. But it just goes, turns into a yeah, big lake. The, um, so then the, this would feed in. The lake. Right. The lake actually goes all the way into Walkersville. She was supposedly asleep in her bed, and her mom went to go wake her up that morning and found that she was gone. Her family describes her as someone that would not leave the house unless, you know, an adult was with her. She looks like such a sad kid. What I feel from her when I look at her, I just keep feeling sadness from her, just sadness, sadness, sadness. She's showing me that she got, that she got grabbed by the arm, seeing like hands around like the upper part of her arm. She's taking you guys to the back side of the dam. This is the dam. Yeah. Somebody had a temper with her. She wasn't a very happy child in the situation that she was in. She makes me feel like her mom kind of had a hard time feeling towards her for whatever reason. Her mom would get frustrated with her at times. So just to make sure I understand what you guys are saying, the dam that we're talking about is not the big dam. Yes. Yes, it's the big, big, big dam. So you think somebody would actually drive back to the big dam with all those gates? Do you know where the big dam is yeah. from yeah. your house? Yeah, we want. Yeah, we want. Yeah, it's just right down the road. Honestly, I can't get over the feeling that they're involved somehow. I feel that maybe it was an accident. You know, if Lena was the one that struck her in the head, you know, maybe not even trying to kill her. Right. But it was hard enough where she eventually passed away from not getting the medical attention. You look at somebody just being pregnant with a single child at eight months. Right. Now you add in the twins. Yeah, and she was she was quite large. I mean, she was pregnant with twins, you know. She was quite large. So I just I don't see her doing it herself. Now Hog Hollow was something that was brought up quite a few times that there were they were partying at Hog Hollow the night before Aaliyah went missing. So what we need to figure out is where we place this. River with deep sides. Well, Maybe if we just go out there, we'll see a river with deep sides. So what we need to do is go hit this area. Was there anybody else in the residence with you this morning? Any other adults? No, I have five kids. Okay, so there's four others in the residence? But there's three right now. Okay. When, where is the other one? My son is a visitation with his father. To me, the big dam just really didn't seem like an area that anybody would go to to dispose of a body. It just seemed like it was too public and too of an open area to take that risk. She's not a very happy child. She doesn't feel loved. She feels like she's always in trouble. I almost get the feeling kind of like her mom would snap sometimes because that many kids, it's hard to handle. She makes her feel like it may have sort of been an accident in some way, and then her mom panics. Aaliyah, how did your mom hurt you? Aaliyah, how did your mom hurt you? Aaliyah, did your mother hit you? Brain. So you got up at six thirty this morning with her, and she got sick. Yeah, she you, she went back to bed, went back to sleep, and then you laid down also. Yes. Do we need to go back towards Bendel? Act. Act. 
you hear that? Who heard Aaliyah Lunsford was a for Orlando? What I see is her like wrapping her up in a sheet and panics. She panics like, oh crap, like what have I done? Running the spirit box sessions around Weston and Bendale, we noticed the further we got away from Aaliyah's home, the weaker the responses were coming across the spirit box. The moment I saw her picture, it was just like extreme sadness. Like she's never really truly been happy in, in her only, what, three years of existence. Why her? What did she do that was so bad? Nothing. She was a baby. She was a baby. I just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's one thing to be a parent and kill your child, but it's a whole nother level of evil when you can kill your child and deprive them of a, of a funeral. To throw their body away like trash, what kind of person would that take? You know, that's that's true evil. Aaliyah given, you know, the thing that she deserved the most, which was a proper burial, and not laying out in the woods somewhere. I just want Aaliyah to be put to rest. And Lena, or whoever, you know, Lena and Ralph, Lena and whoever had a hand in this, to be brought to justice. I feel like, you know, her mom used to lose her temper with her a lot for whatever reason, that's why she's not. She's not a very happy child. She doesn't feel loved. She feels like she's always in trouble. Because when I look at the mom, I definitely see she she could be capable. Do you know what I mean with the way that her energy is? I honestly feel like her mom was bipolar. The kids did see something, but they were so afraid of their mom. Did any of them see her this morning? What time did they get up? <laughs> they came in here. Um, I'm not sure, maybe around 7, 7.30, came in here in my room with me. Whatever they saw, they saw it. If it was 2 in the morning, they saw it. That evening, we decided to leave the hotel room and go out and run a few more spirit box sessions just to see if we could make a stronger connection with the spirits at night. Did Ralph walk over to this area, yes or no? Of course. Can you tell me, is Aaliyah Lunsford's body in this area, yes or no? Aaliyah, if you could hear me, what was your favorite cartoon? Since we knew that Aaliyah's grandmother, Joanne, had passed away about two years after Aaliyah went missing, our hope was that we could make that connection with Joanne. Joanne, we're trying to find out what happened to your granddaughter. Is she in this area? The female. Which way do we need to go? Joanne, is Leah's body out here by the old school? I wonder if she had a raspy voice. A raspy female voice keeps coming across here. If you go straight over that hill, right there, this is the area that Ralph was supposedly spotted in. Now, could it have been mistaken identity? Early that morning, in the early hours, he was spotted walking out in this area if that was truly him. And it's only a 10, 15 minute walk over this hill back to where Aaliyah lived. Where their house was, if you walked across the road and up the hill to the high school and down the back hill, there's Middle Run, so it wasn't that far of a distance. Joanne, was Ralph ever in this area, yes or no? Okay, let's go in for a break. My hands are frozen. I'm gonna ask you one more time, do we need to go left or right? Left. I just want Aaliyah to be put to rest. Aaliyah given, you know, the thing that she deserved the most, which was a proper burial not laying out in the woods somewhere. With Leah's case and with a lot of the other missing person cases, the families never get that opportunity to say goodbye and the victims are never given that proper burial. 
So we believe it's hard for them to be at rest. My hope is to find Aaliyah, bring her home, give her the right burial, make sure that everyone involved in this whole thing is brought to justice. With a lot of these cases, the more and more time goes on, especially with Leah's case, it has been several years since she went missing. We know that everything is stacked against us to actually find Leah's body. But we also realize all it takes is to be in the right location at the right time. And all you need to do is find one clue that would link that area to Leah. There were foot searches from the house at Bendale all the way up to the dam. There were foot searches in Vedas. There were foot searches all the way from Bendale to the state hospital. Anywhere we could think to go and, and crawl into, and we went there, we searched. Nothing, nothing. Elia will tell us one way or another what had happened to her. She was a good girl. She was a loving girl. And Aaliyah, your mother can no longer hurt you. Are you afraid of your mommy? Can you tell us who hurt Aaliyah? Is it in the water? Aaliyah, who hurt you? Aaliyah, who hurt you? It really hurts me. Because I know that I'll never be able to see her happy again. I'll never be able to give her hugs and kisses. Okay, can you look outside and see the officer? I'm looking. I'll never be able to hear her laugh or see her play or grow up. And so because Lena just had to, had to do this. Oh my God. With winter quickly approaching Weston, my brothers and I are forced to leave the area. Our plans are to return in the spring and continue the search for Aaliyah Lunsford. We're attempting to communicate with any spirits that know what happened to Aaliyah Lunsford. Can you hear us, yes or no? Can you tell us, is Aaliyah's body out in this area? Joanne, can you hear us? Was Aaliyah's body brought to this area, yes or no? Can you give us the name of the town? Uh, can you tell us what your body's near? Is it out near Hogs Hollow? Can you tell me if Aaliyah was being moved? I almost think it said no. Is Aaliyah's body in Vedas? Is Aaliyah's body out towards Ralph's house? Yes or no?
Is it near the cemetery? You see it? Can you tell us what it's near in Betas? Is there even a school in Betas? Huh? Is the school near the fire department? Yes or no? Can you tell us, is Leah's body near water? Is it off a gravel road? Guess they're all gravel roads out there. Is her body inside something? Joanne, is Aaliyah, was she brought out to where your trailer sat? Joanne, is Aaliyah's body near your trailer? Is it close to Ralph's house? I hear a softer voice come through every now and then. I think that's what we need to be paying attention to. Can you give us a landmark? Where is her body near? Carter. You keep saying Carter. Yeah. Josh is going to get attacked back right here. Josh, watch it. There's bear tracks back here. Bear tracks. Not real old. You think she would have walked uphill? I'm just thinking both that both those ways goes straight up. So I can't see her being eight months pregnant with twins and then like carrying a basket. The one girl would walk like 1,500 feet into the woods with her, and then she stopped, and then Lena kept going. And we're not even 100 feet right now. Joanne, do you know where Leah's body is? I just say what I think it is. Joanne, if that was you, is it at this church? Is it the other church where the school or where the cemetery is? I need a clear answer, yes or no. Is Aaliyah's grave right here? Did you write that out? It's not like it said it's not. Huh? It's not like it said it's not. It's not? Then, is it out of church? Yes or no? Is Aaliyah's grave at a church? Yes or no? Major news in a missing persons case that's mystified everyone around here. Just hours ago, Lena Lunsford was arrested and charged with the death of her child, Aaliyah. Those who were holding out hope that Aaliyah might be alive somewhere were wrong. In July of 2018, Lena Lunsford was sentenced to life in prison plus 40 years for the murder of her daughter, Aaliyah Lunsford. A witness to the murder came forward and claimed Lena hit her daughter Aaliyah in the head with a wooden bed slat. Aaliyah, how did your mom hurt you? 
At some point during the night, Aaliyah passed away due to her head trauma. The following morning, Lena placed Leah's lifeless body into a clothes hamper and drove to Vedas. Is it in a box? Walked Leah's body about 1,500 feet into the woods before discarding of her body. Despite a three-day search by hundreds of law enforcement officials, the body of Aaliyah Lunsford was never recovered, and still to this day, the whereabouts of Aaliyah's body remains a mystery.